one for you, one for your wife's house, one for your mistress's house, whatever. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LJ's Garage. I'm sitting in a 2022 Ram 1500. This one is a Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 with the glorious V8. So if you're on the market for one of these or you know, you might want to gift someone like me one of these, then uh, be sure to stay tuned because this thing has pretty much everything that you could ask for, minus a couple things that you know you can always option. But I'm going to show you what about $70,000 for one of these Ram 1500 gets you. So stay tuned. Let's talk about this. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm almost at that 7,000 subscriber mark. It's going to be so nice to just have you guys as part of the team. So hit that like button, comment button, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more because I like having you here. So let's talk about the 1500 in itself. There's a lot of different configurations. You can go all the way to the base model like the Tradesman, and that is just your everyday work truck. Or you can go to the top of the line with the bells and whistles and hit, you know, hundred thousand dollars which might not sound like a lot to everyone, but to me, that's a lot of money, especially for a truck. And I get it, the truck is plenty of room, it tows, it, nowadays, they actually get pretty decent gas mileage, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it really does check a lot of bells and whistles that most people need, or, well, I should say want. They want the capability to move their freight. With that being said, let's talk about specs. Let's talk about options and numbers. So, you got a couple different engine options. You've got a 3.6 liter V6, which is just a gasoline engine. If you want, you can go for a three liter eco diesel, which makes pretty good power and gets really solid gas mileage. And then if you're really into the fun of things, you've got the V8 option. And then Ram does have the option to equip this with the V8 with the mild hybrid system. That's their e-torque system. And then on top of that, there's a couple different cab options, crew cab, quad cab. This is again, the crew. And then you've got this six foot bed option and the five foot bed option. So it all just depends what you're looking for, but ram pretty much has you covered on everything that you could need you know nowadays if you go on their website they even have a tow configurator or calculator and so you put in what you have like jet skis boats you know big gigantic kids and you know whatever you need to tow and you just put in some numbers and dodge or ram will say hey this is the engine option that's best for you and this is how you want to equip your truck so we're looking at about 395 horsepower and about 410 foot-pounds of torque. These are familiar numbers, and this V8 is a very familiar, you know, the whole drivetrain, I should say, is very familiar. FCA hasn't done a whole lot to reinvent the wheel or introduce a whole lot that's new other than that mild hybrid system, which is about a year or two old at this point. As far as towing goes, you're looking at about 11,000 pounds. I don't know too many people that need any more than that. I hardly know anyone that tows on a regular basis. I know a few people with trailers and RVs and campers and things like that, but that's once a year, a couple times a season, you know, during the winter time, hunting season, all that. But for the most part, you know, it's kind of just having the capability to do something if you needed it. Earlier, I mentioned that gas mileage is solid for a big V8, and I'm not lying. So it's about 17 city, 22 highway. At the end of the day, though, I mean, gas mileage between big trucks, it's not, it's not anything to brag about. But considering that, you know, some of us do care a little bit about the environment, it's nice to be able to say I get over 15 miles per gallon, which at one point that was like the truck, you know, target gas mileage. So we've come a long ways and I'm proud of Ram for, you know, caring about the environment, even though they have, you know, almost a thousand horsepower truck. It's wild. So let's talk about the outside of the truck. You'll notice that you got cool headlights, you got cool grill. This one's kind of the white on black theme, which is one of my favorites on this truck. I do like the red color as well. I don't know the exact color code for that, but I love the wheels. I love the running boards. Everything on this truck is just, it's just nice. The interior is where Ram really shines against the competition. And I think the closest after that, I'd probably have to say is GMC. That's just my personal take. I love GMC trucks as much as I love the Ford F-150. I think the GMC is just next, next level. Um, when it comes to that type of stuff. And we could go all day and talk about what makes this truck better or that truck better, but I love them all. And I think there's a place for every single one of them. And depending on what your budget is, there is a truck that will fit your needs. So let's dive right into this one. The outside, like I said, it's, it's pretty much you like it or you don't. And don't forget with this nice V8, you're gonna get an awesome eight-speed transmission, smooth as butter, shifts oh so well. And, uh, Dual exhaust tips, as you'd imagine, so you can hear the glorious V8. Soft open tailgate. Bam. Look at that. It's bullet lined. 
Feels nice. Gets the job done. Nice and sturdy. Let's go ahead and hop in. And before I hop all the way in, I'm going to show you guys this. Pop this up. And you got a little storage compartment right there. So that's pretty nice. Look how much room I have. I'm 5'9". The seat's set for me. And it's just huge, huge, huge space back here. If you don't know that, well now you know. Then right here, you got your charging ports and all of that. You got your heated seats, so that's to be expected at this price point. You got your regular home outlet right there, climate control vents, and that's really it. Everything is pretty nice. This is pretty great material. You got this little seat right here in the middle. You can fold that down. More storage, bam. Cup holders, bam. So pretty nice. You got your little window there, which is power, so you don't have to manually open that. And that's a pretty nice thing to expect at this dollar point. When it comes to trucks, this is just what it is. You want large space that you can put large things in. Something else I want to point out is this. And I'm sorry that I'm kind of staying in the warm truck, but it's cold outside. It's like 30 degrees. Too cold for my blood. But you pop this up and you got all this space. Look at this. Look at this. You could do anything back here. And we'll talk about everything up front in just a second here. But special thanks to Jeff Weiler over here in Springfield, Ohio, for letting me take advantage of this amazing truck and show this to you guys so you guys could also appreciate what Ram has done. But it just looks so good. I mean, you cannot get in this and not be happy. Like, there's not much more that you would be asking for. And if you're asking for more than this, then uh, you're pretty bougie. Let's talk about that. I know a lot of truck guys, they get in their fields about trucks. And they get annoyed when non-truck guys, I'm a sports car guy, talk about trucks and towing and stuff like that. So I just want to say that the definition of a truck guy is a little different than it was years ago. I, I hate to burst that bubble. Trucks are luxury things now. And, you know, back in the day, you could say, why would someone spend that kind of money on a truck or a BMW or something exotic even? And trucks are pretty much that now. They're exotic car money almost. And they're just climbing and climbing. Look at the Hummer. It's just, sorry, truck guys. It's not what it used to be. And uh, I just wanted to have a heart-to-heart and same with you truck gals. Truck gals are a thing. And I know that a lot of people don't want to admit that. And it's uh, 2022 as I'm presently filming this video. And so, you know, there's a truck for everyone. Everyone can have a truck. And you might be a Chevy guy. You might be a GMC guy. You might be a Dodge Dakota driving person. Who knows? But you got you to gotta embrace the change. And trucks aren't cheap. The pedals on this thing move. The pedals, you know, back in the day, you used to sit on a phone book or something if you couldn't reach these pedals. It's just different. And rant. Hopping in, you're gonna notice you've got power seats. And if you didn't expect that, surprise. And then here's everything again from the driver's perspective. It looks good. Let's go over to this side. You'll notice these are the pedals I was talking about. So you can adjust these pedals to fit your needs. You got your running board, which is an option. Boom. And ta-da, we're up front. So let's talk about what you get for $70,000. All right, and so your gauge cluster is gonna be semi-digital, semi-analog. We'll go ahead and turn this beauty on. Boom, Laramie. So on your steering wheel, you're gonna have your cruise control. This is how you now, since your gear shifter is that little guy, this is how you actually switch. You know, there's no more paddles or anything like that. So this is kind of weird, but this is, you know, how things are nowadays. And then you've got your audio controls, your menu controls right here. You can see your tire pressures and we'll go through this menu just a little bit so you can see a couple different things. Let me zoom in here. Yeah. So it's pretty easy to use. Uh, let's go up here. You got your speedometer, which you can just focus on. I do this on mine currently, and it just looks so much better. I forget that I even have that option right there. Um, you can go into your screen setup, which I guess I can click here and 
walk you through that. So there's pretty much everything that you could need in here. Um, you got your trailer brake, this one is optioned with. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and yeah, it's pretty much, you know. So let's go into the screen setup right here. You see where it says, um, let's go back one menu. You've got your lower right, and this is highlighted right down here, your lower right. And you click on that, so bam. And now it says that you can change that to different things. So if you wanna keep your trans temp right there, your coolant temp right there, whatever you want, you can adjust. So that's pretty nice. And it's the same thing for all these different spots. So like upper left, who needs a compass right there? So we're gonna put that as outside temperature. So we can see 37 degrees and 37 degrees. And yeah, um, let's see if you could do all of them that way. No, whoops, wrong one. Let's go lower left. Oh, you can do none, you can outside temp. 37 degrees, 37 degrees, 37 degrees. So, you know, if you're a maniac and you wanna customize it, you can. As mentioned, this one does have four wheel drive, so you got your controls right there. You won't accidentally hit this while driving or anything like that, and even if you do, nothing will happen. You've got a couple different screen sizes, two to be exact. This one is gonna be the smaller one, and this was just built this way, so you can option it and build it however you want. And if you're a little patient, it may take some time with today's economy and cars and deliveries and everything like that, but you'll get it. Everything is nice. This Uconnect system is always one of my favorites. It's very easy to use. You spend some time with it, and it's quick. You can do everything climate from here, or you can just turn down here and look, manual. So air conditioning, all that stuff, your heated and cooled seats right there, steering wheel right there, fan speeds, it's just all right there. You got your tow haul mode, traction control, parking sensors, all that good stuff, a little bit of charging ports, wireless charging pad down in here, gigantic cup holders, coin section, and this thing slides. Ugh. I'll show you guys what this looks like. Come on. And this thing, you pop it up, look at this, boom. And underneath, for you nerds, this is some um, conversions and measurement stuff. And in case you need to do your trigonomic trick ratios in your tan cosines, they're right there. You know, I don't know if you ever will need the Pythagorean theorem while you're in this truck, but if you're actually working, you might. And let's look down here. Got a little Easter egg and you can see the little history of the trucks as they're right there kind of cool you press this button right here and this slides and way 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 more space I'm not saying you can fit some guns in there but you can and look at that flip this guy up and got a little divider so that's kind of nice and that's all she wrote. Ram. Let's go back to this infotainment system really quick here. Let's go into vehicle. You can control your rear view camera. As you can see, it's great quality. Let's go back into vehicle though. Sorry, I'm bouncing all over the place. I'm kind of spastic today. But you go into your safety and driver assistance, emergency braking, front parking sensor you got sensors all over the front and rear to make sure you don't hit anything blind spot monitoring on trailer blind spot monitoring hill start assist and tire fill assist all that good stuff let's turn our attention up top and you see that you got your control for the rear window that little slider you got your tailgate you can drop from there and that is everything i mean dome lights and the rest is the rest no sunroof unfortunately but you do have home link you can program up to three garages, one for you, one for your wife's house, one for your mistress's house, whatever. So let's bring our attention over to here. You press this, you got another storage compartment. Bam, plenty of room, it's actually fairly deep. And then down here, you've got your glove box and also plenty of room. But one thing you're not gonna be itching for in this is storage. You got compartments on here, the door sills, there's just, pretty much everything that you need. I, I can't stress that enough that this truck has dang near all the bells and whistles and solid fuel economy, solid towing, solid performance overall, and it just looks so good. All right, and take a look at this key. 
You got your remote start right here. You can drop your tailgate from here, but you actually have to manually close it. I don't know. There's just something about this key fob being a little bit more, you know, luxurious when they take the time to give it some sort of personality and character. But it's simple, yet it gets the job done and looks good with the RAM logo. Look at that. RAM. Did I mention that this has a Harman Kardon sound system? And I'm not an audiophile or whatever they call themselves nowadays, but I know a good sound system when I hear one and I am a huge fan of HK and I have it in all my cars and I love it. I love it to death. And just like that, the end of the tour is here. Driving experience is nice. It is great acceleration. It is great on-road manners. I've never taken one of these off-road, but I could imagine it does fairly well on rough terrain. And overall, I've got to say, this is one of my favorite trucks. I give this thing a 9 out of 10 overall. And not this specific one. There's a couple different options that I personally would have chosen, like the larger screen, which I know the large screens aren't for everyone, but at that dollar value, I feel like the price difference is, is just worth it. And I know that there's a lot of supply issues going on in the world. And sometimes, you know, trucks just get built the fastest way that they can. And sometimes they're not built the way that you want, which is why you can, you know, build it the way you want. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out yet another video in LJ's Garage. I hope that you have enjoyed your time here. And I know that you want to look as cool as I do in this truck. And hopefully one day you will also be cool sitting in this truck. And if you decide to get one, let me know. And if you decided you like Ford more, I want to know why. But thanks again, and I will see you guys on the next one.